Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to tackle this uh, circuit here on the board, which is a little bit different than the ones we've covered before. What we have is a 6.4 amp current source going up. We have a couple of resistors, actually three resistors on the right hand side with an inductor in the middle, 0.32 Henry's. And then we have basically a switch that's flipping at time zero. So you, again, you need to look at what's happening before the switch flips and after the switch. When in position A here, before the switch moves, what we have is the currents going up through this guy here. Some of it's going through the 10 ohm resistor, some of it's going through the 6 ohm, and then we have this inductor here. The inductor, when the switch has been sitting for a long period of time, is just going to look like a short circuit. It's gonna look like a wire. So the, the current is gonna be flowing through the inductor and then back. None of the current's gonna make it over here to the 4 ohm resistor because of the short circuit that's effectively here. That's what the circuit's gonna look like when it's in position A. Now when we flip the switch to position B, notice how everything's set up. The switch goes here, and it basically kinda causes the current source to do this number, and it's effectively disconnected from the rest of the circuit. So this is effectively doing the same thing as just removing the source from the circuit. When you switch it like that, it's just doing its own thing. It's not interacting with anything else. So before the switch moved, we've been dumping current in a steady state condition into this inductor. After we remove the source, the inductor is going to begin to then distribute that current out, and some of it's gonna go through here, and some of it's gonna go through here. But our question is, what is the voltage, Calling we're calling it V10 because it's across the 10 ohm resistor. What is the voltage, as a function of time, across that resistor after time zero? So, in other words, we've been dumping current in the inductor, we remove the source, the current's gonna begin flowing out of the inductor into all these load resistors. So of course the current's gonna be decaying over time through this resistor, uh, causing a voltage drop, which is gonna also decay. So we expect the voltage V10 across that resistor to start at some value and then to decay, uh, and after five time constants, we expect it to get close to zero, less than 1% of the initial value and so on. What makes this a little bit unique is that whenever we open the switch, in the previous circuits we have like one inductor with one resistor. Um, and so it was easy to figure out the time constant and all that, but now when we open the switch we've got actually multiple resistors and also they're not really like together, they're a little bit spread on either side of the inductor. So, you know, doing circuits is a little bit like doing crossword or doing mazes. I mean, you have to just get practice with sort of how to view them and how to look at them and it, com it comes with the territory and you'll get better at it. So I've described what the circuit is going to look like before and after, but for some cases, um, it's actually helpful to draw the circuit in both states before and after to kind of give you a clear picture of what's happening. So we're gonna do that here. And so what we're gonna say is uh, in position A, this means before the switch opens, the circuit's gonna look like this. We're gonna have this current source and it's gonna be 6.4 amps. And then what's gonna happen is we have this 10 ohm resistor here. So this is 10 ohms. And then over here, we have a six ohm resistor. And we do have the inductor here, which is 0.32 Henry's, but I'm gonna remind you in kind of in parentheses that this looks like a short. So I'm drawing the inductor sig symbol because I want you to remember that there is an actual inductor here um, and not just put a straight line here for a wire. But I'm reminding you in parentheses that the inductance, since it's been sitting for a long period of time, nothing is changing, um, there's no voltage drop across this, it's effectively looking like a short circuit. 